expecting me to do a story probably from Catholic school. I'm not. I'm not. Because I all season I've been doing Catholic school stories. But I will preface the story with why I am the way I am. So in Catholic school, as I mentioned this season, authority is a problem, right? So like they want you to be scared, a scared. They want you to be scared of authority. <laughs> they want you to be afraid of someone coming down and smiting you for your actions. I've always been that way. You know, growing up, I would cry if I got in trouble at all. I would never get in trouble, but even the few times I did, I would just like break down and cry. I would get upset. So this story is about my next step past Catholic high school, which, what do you think it would be? If you go to a small Catholic high school, where would you go next? Small Catholic college. Small liberal arts college. Yeah, very close. Not Catholic, but small liberal arts college. So I went to Allegheny College in Pennsylvania. And every year they had Spring Fest. Most colleges have this sort of event where it happens in April, and it's right towards the end of the semester where everyone just goes butt wild, right? So at all, like the first three years of my college career, I never celebrated Spring Fest because I was always in a play. I was always doing a show, I was always involved in something, so I could never really go crazy. My senior year, however, I lived in the Student Experimental Theater House, which meant, right, which meant that we would throw parties and events and stuff that looked a lot like this event right now, right? Artists and people hanging out, and it was great. And so my senior year Spring Fest, I was like, yeah, we're gonna do it big. We're doing it. So the Friday night, and again, I think this was literally April 20th. The Friday night, April 20th, we rolled a big blunt of marijuana and <laughs> had a couple friends over. Um, the friends were actually service leaders. I was in a service leader group called Bonner, where we would spend eight to 10 hours a week serving nonprofits in the city. You know, then we'd meet once a month and reflect on that. And I had two friends, we all rolled a blunt. Um, and one of the friends, they were named Nick and Andrew, one of the friends had their 17-year-old brother up for Spring Fest, naturally. <sighs> so we roll this blunt and we go to the back porch of our house and we're like, you know, this is Spring Fest, yeah. <sighs> <sighs> Who is that? <laughs> All of a sudden we hear campus security roll up on our porch and we're like, what the and they all come up, and I literally have a panic, a panic attack, the first one in my life, the first one in my life, and I just collapse on the ground. <laughs> I'm laughing because I've never, like, never since then, never before then, I've never had this in my life. I just collapse. And they're like, what the fuck is wrong with her? What is wrong with her? Are you smoking weed? Blah, 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 blah. And they're like freaking out, and we're like, dude, this is Spring Fest, like whatever. My friend Andrew is over here on the back deck, and he's like, Oh, every day girls are getting sexually assaulted on our campus and you're worrying about us smoking weed? Like, how could you? He's like getting in her face. And I'm just like laying on the ground like, Katie, hey, what, what are you doing? What are you doing? And Andrew's like, every day you are just walking by real crimes when we're just trying to smoke weed on Spring Fest. And then they call the ambulance. Because I'm laying on the ground, naturally. And the ambulance comes and they sit me in the chair and they're looking in my eyes and in my head I'm like, Katie, get the fuck up. Get the fuck out of this mess. You did this. Get up. So I wake up like a phoenix out of the ashes. Which I also think I said that earlier this season, but I don't give a fuck. I wake up like a phoenix out of the ashes and I'm like, no, I'm here. And I take control, I take the spotlight from Andrew, who's talking about domestic violence and other things that are important. And I'm like, no, I'm fine. And they're like, oh, what's your birthday? And I was like, 11 1991 What's your, your social security number? 9419. What's your address? 760 Elma. That's the exchange house address. <laughs> but you, you get the drift. I was like, no, I'm here. And all of a sudden they're like, oh, you know what? You're fine. And they all just leave. <laughs> What the fuck just happened? <laughs> like, I just had to like take a spotlight for that moment, and then the, like for two weeks after, I stressed out so bad, because I never get in trouble, 
Really, I don't, I don't. I really try to be good, I really do. And I usually am good. And like, I was just freaking out. I'm like, oh my God, I'm not gonna be able to graduate. I'm not gonna be able to do anything with my friends. I'm not gonna be able to get my awards. And I was just like, kid, like what am I gonna do? And then, you know, I get like, called into the dean's office literally a week before graduation. And they're like, Katie, we heard that you had an incident on Springfest. And I was like, yeah. I'm so sorry, and I just start crying, just bawling. Again, I'm afraid of authority. Um, oh my god, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. I, I never even do that, I don't even smoke weed that often. I just was having a good time, and I worked so hard my whole college career, and I want to graduate with my friends. And then they're like, Katie, you're fine. Like, you're gonna walk with your friends. Like, it's no problem at all. We just wanted to, like, bring you in, like, talk to you about the situation. Like, Andrew and Nick are getting in trouble, not you. They had a minor. And I was like, what? So, it was fucked up because they got in trouble. I did not, because I was a senior. But that was my favorite mistake because it was literally the only time I've ever really gotten in, like, real trouble. <laughs> <laughs>